Hello everyone, so today we are going to learn about the isometric projections in CAD drawing. So the first question here is that three rectangular slabs, namely 16020, 14020 and 12020 are placed one above the other in descending order of their width, such that their longer axes are coplanar. So we have to draw the isometric projections for this particular combination. Now, the sequential steps in which we have to undertake this isometric projection drawing is that firstly we have to make three rectangular slabs of the given dimensions wherein the dimension of the length and the height will remain the same only the dimension of the breadth of three rectangular slabs is continuously changing so the breadth of the first rectangular slab is 60 mm the breadth of the second rectangular slab is 40 mm and the breadth of the third rectangular slab is 20 mm according to the normal standard naming convention that's length into breadth into height right now what we have to do is that we have to arrange them one top of the other in the manner of descending order of their width so the width which is 60 millimeter triangle uh, oh so i'm sorry 60 millimeter rectangular slab will be at the most bottom then the 40 millimeter rectangular slab will be on in between and the 20 millimeter rectangular slab will be on the top so let's get drawing uh, initially in order to create uh, a rectangular slab we need to select the line tool right and then for creation of rectangle the dimensions or the angles which we need which we need to remember is very important so the first two angles are very important which is 30 degree and 150 degree and then the rest two angles that is minus 150 degrees and minus 30 degrees will be intuitional so let's get drawing this is the first line that we create and the first line is the length so that's 100 and uh, the angle should be 30 degrees Next up is the breadth. The breadth over here is 60. So 60 and angle is 150. And again, the length was 100 and minus, minus 150 degrees here. And the breadth was 60. So 60 and minus. 30 and that is how we create the rectangle and if you want to create a rectangular slab what we need to do is that we need to project the height and then move this bottom portion copy it and place it at the tip of the height so that is how we'll um, extrapolate this 2d drawing into a 3d drawing so let me show you how to do it first we'll create a height and that height uh, so you have to uh, you have to move your cursor on the top of this line so that it is highlighted in red and ensure that the cursor reaches the end point of the line and that is denoted by a dot on the tip of the line symbol. So click on this and then what is the height? The height over here is 20 and the height remains constant for all the three rectangular slabs. So 20 and then 90 so yes so we have got one height and that height is enough for extrapolating or moving this bottom diagram uh, the bottom rectangular slab and placing it on the top of the tip so let's do it what we have to do is first we have to select the bottom diagram right and you just press the left mouse click and select the bottom diagram and then there is an option called move in the toolbar so we move in in move option what we have to do is that we we have to make sure that we click at the end of the line and then what you have to do is that enable the copy option which is at the top left corner because we don't want to move the original bottom diagram and we want a 3d diagram so okay we enable the copy option and then we move along we move the cursor along this particular line so as the cursor symbol shows that it is at the top of the particular line 
so we go there and click and that is how we extrapolate the 2d into 3d now what we have to do is that we basically just need to uh, draw those lines and make it into a full-fledged rectangular slab okay so this is an isometric projection one thing that is should be mentioned here is that in an isometric projections uh, these particular lines the ones I'm marking now this one uh, I'm so sorry uh, this particular line this line and this line will not be visible to the eye of the viewers so what we need to do is that we need to delete these lines and here there you have it this is an isometric projection of the first um, first rectangular slab now what we need to do the, is that we need to create two more isometric projections and now once when we are done with that we will overlay these three isometric projections one top of one other and create this particular diagram so let me do it now what i'll do is that first i'll um, move this aside right and now things will be a bit fast so the second diagram is 140 20 so yeah 100 right 30 degrees 40 and then 150 degrees and then yeah 100 minus 150 and 40 minus 30 yeah so this is how we create the uh, rectangle and then let's give it its height so height over here is 20 20 and 90 is the angle of the height yep now what we need to do is that again take the selection tool select the end uh, okay select the entire base Oops. yes we selected the entire base and then move this particular base using the move option so you take your cursor keep it on this line and ex uh, move it along the line until you see that tip on the line symbol then click and then any uh, just check if your copy option on the top left corner is enabled okay mine was not so i enabled it and then i moved it on top of it right so next thing is that i take the line tool and then i start creating lines yes okay so we have created our lines okay great uh, now like the initial part we have to remove all the lines which are not visible to the isometric projections so i'll remove all these three lines because they are not visible in the isometric projection fine so now we have the second part of our diagram which is ready great now uh, after which we'll move on to the third part of the diagram which is uh, again i'll select the line tool uh, so 100 is the length okay 30 angle and then over here the breadth has decreased further and it will become 20 so 20 150 yes and then 100 and um, minus 150 and the last is 20 and minus 30 oops yes so we have got the rectangular bottom which is created now let's give it a height select the line tool right and then what is the length uh, the height of the rectangular slab is 20 90 degrees right and now what we'll do is that we extrapolate this bottom diagram select it completely right and then use the move option ensure the tip symbol the copy is on right and then move it along this height until you see the tip symbol okay i see the tip symbol and then use your lines and create a rectangular slab yep there you have it and now let's just remove the lines which are not visible to the eye so this line in particular this line in particular this should be removed okay and there you have it all the three parts of the diagram are ready so now what we need to do is that we need to start assembling all the three rectangular slabs one top of another so 
I'll select this and actually I'll just take it aside. I'll just keep this aside since it's at the top. So we'll keep this aside and we'll okay just one second. Oops. Ah yeah. And then I'll just bring it to the center of the canvas so that's visible. Right. Now this has to be the bottom most part of the figure because it the breadth is highest and we have to arrange in the de decreasing order of breadth. So then the second is this because its breadth is uh, I guess 40 millimeter and that has to be kept on top of this. So what we'll do is that we'll select this particular uh, diagram completely and I'll use the move option. Now what I'll do is that I'll keep the cursor on this particular red highlighted line and then since we have to make sure that the axes are coplanar and the axis of a rectangular pass will pass through its center. So I have to make sure that I reach the center point of this line and that is denoted by the symbol near my cursor. Once I find that cursor, I'll click on it and ensure that my copy option is disabled over here since I don't want to create multiple copies of this particular element. And now what I have to do is that I have to keep it on top of this red highlighted line and make sure that I reach a midpoint and click my left mouse. There you have it. So these are two elements which are on top of each other. Now, in an isometric projection, I am not able to see this particular portion of the uh, figure. So what I'm going to do is that I'll delete all these lines, right? So I'll just take the um, this, the trim tool and I'll start trimming all the lines which I can't see, right? So next part is that you overlay this figure having the breadth 20 using the move tool you find the midpoint copy option disabled you keep it on this red portion of line find the midpoint and press enter right and now I again using the trim tool which is this what I'll do is I'll erase the portions which are not visible in the isometric projections right and there you have it my friends this is the answer to the first question of three rectangular slabs what we need to do that there's a last step to this is that select the complete diagram and then what we need to do is basically scale this diagram down to 0 0.816 right and then press enter and make sure the copy option is disabled okay there you go last but not the least what we can do is that using smart dimension um, here you can just name uh, you can just give the dimension of one particular uh, length or breadth so that you can show that this particular diagram is scaled down and um, that's it my friends thank you